Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Watson's World. Today we are about to embark on a gripping journey into the murky waters of the digital realm. You know, our devices are more than just screens and buttons. They hold our secrets, memories, and our personal information. But what if lurking behind the scene, there are eyes watching, fingers tapping, and minds plotting. In the heart of Jamaica, one man would experience the harsh reality of cybersecurity threats, becoming the center of a scandal that would surprise the nation. What do you have to say for yourself? What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Our story today revolves around Philip Paulwell, a former cabinet member, member of parliament for Kingston East and Port Royal, and the opposition spokesman on energy. But Philip's distinguished career took a horroring turn when he became the target of an audacious cyber attack. Now imagine stepping into your local bank, expecting the ordinary only to be confronted with the reality that your accounts have been breached. This nightmare became Philip's reality when he discovered a substantial amount had been withdrawn. To add to the concern, attempts had been made on several of his other financial accounts across different institutions there in Jamaica. And then a phone call, an unfamiliar male voice echoing chilling confidence. They claim to have cloned Philip's phone through decades of information from emails and photos to personal and professional messages were now in the hands of this unknown assailant. But it wasn't just about money. The stakes took an even darker turn when the extortionists made a grave accusation claiming that they had evidence of Philip's involvement with underage girls. A claim he has strongly and categorically denied. Yet the voice demanded 50,000 United States dollars, directing payment to a Nigerian account, threatening to unveil those purported secrets to the world. Despite the weight of these threats, Philip's spirit remained unyielding, refusing to bow to the demands. Philip soon found his personal images, once safely housed on his phone, distributed to colleagues, an unsettling proof of the hacker's capabilities. The tendrils of this extortion scheme reached even further than Jamaica's shores. International investigators traced this web of deceit to an account in the UK, one already swollen with a balance of 600,000 United States dollars. And intriguingly, a significant deposit to this account to the tune of 42,000 United States dollars was traced back to Jamaica. This all leads us to ponder, in an age where our entire lives can be accessed with a click, who among us is truly safe? If someone as prominent and well-guarded as Philip can fall prey to such a scheme, what hope do the rest of us have? But this story is far from over. Philip, standing tall amidst the turmoil, remains resolute in bringing these faceless foes to justice. He emphasizes the importance of resisting these digital tormentors, especially in a world where traditional scams evolve in sophisticated cyber attacks. Now, as we continue to explore this riveting narrative, one question lingers in the shadows. In our digital age, are the very tools we come to rely upon the same ones that leave us most exposed? The chilling tale of Paulwell's digital nightmare isn't just a tale of fiction. Many of us sit comfortably, thinking our digital lives are safe behind the walls of passwords and biometrics. But Paulwell's story, a tale of ingenuity, deception, and treachery, reminds us of the unseen threats lurking in the digital shadows. How could such a well-guarded individual have been targeted? 
Let's delve into the world of hacking and unravel the mysterious tactics that might have ensnared Paul Well. Our first suspect, physical access. The very idea sends shivers down the spine. Imagine Paul Well engrossed in a book at a cafe. He gets up, leaving his phone momentarily unattended. In those few fleeting seconds, someone swiftly interacts with his device leaving behind a dangerous piece of software or extracting vital information. The devil, as they say, is in the details. And in Paul Wells' case, it might have been in direct interaction. But what if the hacker never needed to be in the same room? Enter the realm of phishing attacks. Like a predator, camouflage in the underbush, Waiting for its prey, the hacker sends out a deceptive email. Paul Well, unsuspecting, might have seen an urgent message seemingly from his bank or a trusted colleague. One click and the trap snaps shut. In that single moment of distraction, his device, his life, could have been compromised. No, our journey takes a darker turn with Keyloggers. Picture this. Every secret, every password, Paul Well types silently recorded. A shadow watching, recording his every digital move, waiting to strike. It's not just about technology, it's about betrayal. Knowing that your most intimate moments might be under surveillance. Then there's the control message attack. A malicious entity sending out exploitive messages. Allwell's device, believing these to be genuine commands, could grant the hacker unsolicited access. It's like someone whispering through the keyhole, convincing the lock to simply open. Now we have all received them guys. Unsolicited emails crowding our inboxes. But what if hidden among the benign offers and newsletters lay a more sinister intent, hacking via spamming. It's just that, one wrong download, one inadvertent click, and a malicious link in these emails and Paul Wells' digital fortress might crumble. Now imagine devices that mimic the very cell tower our phones trust. This is the Stingray method. As Paul will walk the streets, his phone, thinking it's connecting to a trusted network, might instead be dancing to a hacker's tune, every call, every message intercepted. Lastly, the treacherous spyware apps, malicious applications, cloak in innocence, nestled among Paul Wells' other apps, silently gathering information from his favorite coffee shop to his late night conversations. A spy could have been chronicling it all. You see, the digital realm, much like the real world, is filled with mysteries and potential threats. Paul Wells' story isn't just a tale of caution, it's a testament to our times. An emotive journey of trust, deception, and the quest for security in an increasingly connected world. As we draw the curtains on, on this um, story, one can't help but wonder, in this vast digital playground, who really is safe and who might be the next Paul Well? Guys, as per usual, click on the notification bell so that you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. If you have not yet subscribed, guys, go ahead and click on the subscription button. Until next time, my beautiful people, walk good. Yeah, man.